A new patient walks into your dental office. During the routine hygiene check, you notice that there is some caries on the occlusal part of the 3-6. So you suggest the patient that it is a good idea to get it restored with composite restoration. You are ready to anesthetize the patient. Everything is set up and the moment you start injecting the anesthesia uh, giving a eye block uh, you notice that uh, patient starts to itch on his arms there is some blushing on his cheeks and uh, few instances later uh, the patient complains that he is struggling to breathe now you start to suspect the most dreaded consequence uh, of uh, this uh, administration of local anesthesia which is of course could be anaphylaxis uh, you start uh, moving to the next step to check the blood pressure of the patient and you found that the blood pressure is dropping it comes down to 90 systolic and 60 diastolic now it's time to swing into action because anaphylaxis is one of the most dreaded condition uh, that is uh, always uh, dentists are scared of uh, in their dental offices whether they are associated with somebody or whether they own a dental practice so let's just dive into as to what resources we can use to intervene if such a condition develops and uh, how can we help our patients how can we help ourselves and how can we help our practice anaphylaxis a life-threatening allergy as we just discussed that it could develop in a dental office sometimes it is quite unpredictable and all of a sudden we notice are the symptoms that we either see them as a sign or it could be a narrative or a description that is given to us by the patient if you look into this picture all these images are not just random images these could be the cause of the anaphylaxis that develops in a patient in our dental office so one of them is local anesthesia and that is injected through a needle secondly it could be the latex that is present in our gloves or it could also be present in the rubber dam that we employ to uh, perform various procedures in our dental practice thirdly it could be the drugs especially antibiotics like penicillin which could be the source of uh, anaphylaxis especially when such a drug is instituted first time in the dental office so what are the signs and symptoms of this condition symptoms are what the patient describes to us as what the patient feels it could be a burning sensation it could be a numbing sensation signs are what we as a dentist see in the patient now we cannot see a burning sensation or a uh, we cannot see the pain as it is occurring we can see swelling we can see redness so those things form the sign which we can witness in the patient flushing this is one of the feature that is seen in anaphylaxis you can see the redness as it develops on the surface of the skin and could result from the dilatation that occurs in the superficial capillaries and other blood vessels and uh, causes the coloration of the skin to change anaphylaxis leads to systemic inflammation so there is a inflammation in throughout the body and as a result there are many chemical mediators like antihistamines uh, um, that are being generated within the body and this is the source of the itching that is prevalent in the patient while the anaphylaxis or the condition is in the progressive stage as the inflammation is spreading within the body it could spread to the larynx and as a result 
the patient could develop hoarseness which means that the voice of the patient will change and there will be some struggle in order to produce some special sounds and uh, it just is because there is inflammation present in those uh, muscles and structures that control the passage of airway uh, or the air that moves in and out through the larynx. The inflammation around the throat and the tongue and the other muscles that are important in deglutition and swallowing uh, when affected do pose a problem in swallowing and patient experiences that since uh, those muscles become ineffective when this uh, function is attempted. There is some constriction in the bronchioles that start to occur and as a result patient has to struggle to breathe and uh, they could feel that tightness in the chest and uh, they will narrate or tell you as to what they are experiencing as uh, they will be having that difficulty in breathing when uh, the anaphylaxis approaches in the advanced stages. As the blood pressure drops, this is a positive sign that uh, we need to do something about this condition as it could be fatal, it could be detrimental to the health of the patient. Before we do anything or talk to anybody about this condition, just call 911 because they are the people who are fully equipped with all the resources and in case you are not able to manage the condition in your office there will be some backup support that will be coming and uh, there won't be any delay happening at your end if uh, the condition becomes out of your hands. If you have oxygen at hand or in your practice, institute the oxygen therapy right away because if the patient has difficulty in breathing, Oxygen saturation of that patient will be dropping down and in order to reconstitute that we it is a good idea to uh, start the oxygen therapy right away. Look for the epinephrine, one of the important drug that is used to reverse the uh, symptoms of anaphylaxis and gladly now it is available in as epipens and uh, every dose institutes 0.3 milligram of epinephrine which can be repeated every 10 minutes. So get yourself familiar with this device so in the event you need it you will be familiar as to how you can open the security lock of this device and inject when required. Diphenhydramine used as a antihistaminic and uh, if the conditions or the symptoms in this condition are not severe, we can always start with diphenhydramine. Let's say if the patient does not have difficulty in breathing but just some itches and uh, some flushing on the face um, and there, the blood pressure of the patient is also normal. We can just use diphenhydramine in order to deal with those symptoms which are not uh, as severe as uh, difficulty in breathing or hypotension. Hydrocortisone or corticosteroid with 100 milligram intravenous. This drug is used uh, when we seriously need to uh, treat the condition right away or the things could slip out of our hand any moment. Uh, this corticosteroid does suppresses the immunity right away and as a result you will see that there is a depression in the outpouring of the chemical mediators and as a result patient could feel immediate uh, positive benefits and uh, relief from itching and flushing and uh, it also pours out some additional sugar in the blood uh, which is required to deal with this stressful situation that is ongoing 
within the body. This clip is not for entertainment purpose, but just to evaluate yourself as to how do you feel because uh, if you feel well prepared with all this information you will find yourself on the left side of the image but uh, if you haven't given yourself that chance to get familiar with all this equipment and uh, are not well informed you might feel a little scared which is depicted on the right side of this image which just means that you just have to spend some time getting familiar with all these resources that are available to you and become a confident practicing dentist and you will be seeing yourself in the left side of the image later then i hope you like this video i am rahul monga and thanks for joining with me here